16, I, I remember, I don't know, there was a decision. I remember thinking, oh, I'm a man now. An event happened in my life, and I interpreted that to mean, oh, I'm a man. I'm earning a paycheck. And so far from the truth was that for me, because when I really got to see, for me, what it meant to be a man, I was more than twice that age. So much had happened to me. You know, marriage, divorce, loss. I've become the man I am because I've hung out with other men who've challenged me around, around my way of being. You know, around my impact. Is, is the way I'm being in the world really how I want to be? Introduce me to your friends and I'll tell you who you are. You know, if you have men in your life who will challenge you, who will actually call you forth when you say you're gonna do something and you screw up. Those are good men to have in your life. To be in a room with other men, a handful of other men who are willing to listen enough to what's going on with me and I with them, it's transforming. It has me fundamentally change the form of who I am as a man. Like I can say things and actually believe some of what comes out of my mouth. And it's not real. And so the, the men who have actually challenged whether or not what I've said I wanted to do, what I've said I've done, uh, what I've claimed I, I want to make happen in the world. When they've challenged, am I really committed to that? You know, am I willing to do whatever it takes? They have so served me to have me see what's real for me, what's an illusion and what's real. I can't do that by myself. None of us can. It's, it's an absolute myth that men don't want to talk about their feelings. I think when a man feels safe, like when a man knows that he can risk saying what's true for him and not be judged, men will open up, they'll talk about anything and discover they're not alone, that there are other men who have the same kind of experiences as them and can actually learn from other men in powerful ways. When a man knows that he's fully loved by another man, I mean accepted, that's what I mean by love, like really accepted for who he is, I think uh, it frees him up from the neediness to have to get love from women, like to have to get love from women. And so many men I meet are desperate for a woman's love. And if they don't get it, their life is a mess. They're a mess. And I believe that if they truly felt loved and accepted and challenged and championed by men in their life, they could approach women from a much more grounded, honest place. And that's freedom. That's freedom in relationship for men. We run from responsibility. But what if responsibility was a gift? What if the, what we call responsibility is really the opportunity to have the impact that we want? Like that we really, that speaks to us at a profound level.